Hey team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Today I want to look at some core concepts on the foundations of reading exam. These are core ideas that you're going to need to understand. Sometimes on the test, it's those basic ideas that we take for granted that are the trickiest. The alphabetical principle is one of those that some teachers just gloss over. They assume, hey, I know what it is. But you want to remember that any one of these ideas, it's not basic. These are, these are things that are made up of a lot of different skills that have to be explicitly taught to students. We take letters or graphemes within the alphabet, like the letter A, and we teach the student that this letter symbol corresponds with a short A in the word cat, or a long A, like cake. And a child, when learning the alphabetical principle, they learn that all the letters of the alphabet match up with predictable sounds. The vowels tend to have two sounds, long and short. The consonants, for the most part, have one. Some of them have two sounds. But this is very predictable, and learning that alphabetical principle helps students start to decode very basic words. But before a child can start to learn the alphabetical principle, there are some prerequisite skills. The first one is letter recognition. If you're a parent listening to this, you know that a child learning the alphabet doesn't happen overnight. There's a lot of different levels it takes to get letter recognition. The first one is you ask your child, your two or three year old, to point to the symbol A. Can they point to the letter A? So when a child is asked to point to the letter A and they correctly identify, that would show that they're able to correctly identify that symbol. Then we have letter naming. So basic letter recognition has to do with identifying and naming that letter. And then we could add other aspects like forming the letter. But right now, let's just focus on that recognition piece. A child needs to have that and awareness of sounds or phonemes. A child needs to know all those 44 phonemes in the English language so they can start matching up letters with their corresponding sounds. A lot of times on the reading exams, they ask about phonemic and phonological awareness activities, and then alphabetical principle is one of the options. And if you're asked about a phonological and phonemic awareness activity, you always want to remember that those are always strictly sound. They're sound activities. There's no print, there's no letters, there's no vowels or consonants. So if it's just a sound activity, it wouldn't be the answer. The alphabetical principle is a major idea for beginner readers. They need to have this predictable relationship between letters and sounds to start early phonics and basic decoding. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.